Hello and welcome to another behind the scenes video. We're back at our test island where I'm showing off things uh, which changed uh, in the game right now. And you may already notice we do have a house sitting over there. So this house was built piece by piece. We have an inside of it and we have a roof on there made out of plank tiles. And that's what it is. So the thing I want to show today is actually doing and building and placing stuff like a table and chairs for the sake of um, showing off what the engine is currently capable of. So the first thing, we already have the peeps, but we do not have any materials. So the first thing we want to do is actually harvest some stones because we need them to build um, our workbench. So we're placing down a workshop and we could do this in the house as well, but I'm doing this not now. So let's place down a workshop. And in the in the early videos, you know, the workshop itself did just um, produce stuff. This is not longer true. The workshop now needs items to actually function properly. And to do so, we would need to construct some crude workbench, which is basically just a plate out of stones. So the peeps going ahead, collecting the stones and bringing them in there. We also want to have some sort of stockpile and uh, we are allowing all sorts of, let's allow materials in here. So the stones get brought over there. The next thing we would need is actually wood because we do build items out of wood, for now at least. So let's get down some trees and we now get some locks here. That's birch locks, I think. And out of the birch locks, the next thing we do, and you know this already, we just building some planks. Let's build some planks in here. So the peeps are now building the planks. This is all sped up very much because we're in developing mode. Look at him. They build all the planks. So with the planks, we cannot actually build the furniture. So for example, we could just build a wood table. So let's build three wood tables. So now we have built two tables and the building process will actually stop afterwards because the workbenches actually now are locked or or yeah, they are, they are blocked by the items sitting on there. So we would need to add another stockpile. <coughs> Let's put it there. And this stockpile is only for the furniture like this. So now the furniture is getting brought over there. And we have the tables finished. We want to have a little bit more planks in here. Here we go. That's two more planks. We got a lot of planks in here. Look at that. Such nice planks. So uh, with the planks in place, we can actually also build us some chairs. So let's build four chairs out of birch. So we do have the birch chairs, and it's the same as I've shown already in early videos. They are looking like the material they were actually made of, and the planks looking like the wood they were actually made of. And we have still an issue there. The side of the log does render not correctly. That's an issue which still has to be fixed but it will be one of the next videos. I'm sure about that. So we do have the table in here and we do have the chairs. And the next thing we want to do is actually put some of the furniture into our little house in here. So let's go ahead and put down, put down the table. So we're putting down the birch table and I want to have a birch table over there. And let's do another one over there. So now the peeps are bringing actually the birch tables. And I also want to put down some chairs and do not look too much about this current user interface. I will not stay that way. We're going to put down some chairs. So, and in a final game, if you put down chairs and you do not have enough chairs, the game will actually queue them for production. So they will get produced automatically, which is not the case right now. So we need four chairs more. Where's the chairs? Let's do four more. And now they're getting produced and after production, when they're crafted, it's just brought over there. And there we go. Now we have the chairs and in our nice little house in here, we have basically now a table with chairs. So right now the peeps are not able to actually use the table, but it's, it's planned in the game that they will later actually use the table. So in case they are tired or they just want to sit down or they want to eat something, they will seek for a table with a chair and sit down there and actually use that to recover their stamina or just eat their food, getting happy by just sitting on a chair. And the other thing the chair will do, it will actually add wealth 
to your village. So your village actually will reassemble. The more you build, the more wealth will be added to your actual village and wealth will then be one sort of mechanism to actually get more peeps in there. So you want to have a really big island with lots of stuff and all this. So you attract other peeps, other villages to come to you and join your tribe by actually having more wealth, and having good food. And food is actually one uh, subject for the next video because the food chain already changed a lot as well. And we're pretty, pretty close to actually have a working food chain. I just need to add more items for that. And, well, stuff like this. It's, it's not too, too easy. So the other thing to go here, let's say you're not very satisfied with how the table works and you want to get rid of it. There is now a new mode in here to just get rid, for example, get rid of those things here. And now the peeps are coming there. Here we go. They're bringing away all the stuff. And it's getting transported away and put in a stockpile. Here we go, it's all in the stockpile, in there. And can be placed elsewhere. So let's say we want to go ahead and put the table. Yeah, let's put it outside. And we also want to put the chairs around it. We can do this right there. Let's put the chairs there. So now we have an outside table. And now it's ready to use by the peeps. That's what it does. And of course, you can also go underground, for example. You can go down here, the world is deep enough. There's plenty of room. You can utilize, for example, you could put underground all the working stuff, like the workshops and all this stuff could be underground, so you're not clogging up precious living space uh, on the fresh air side. So, well, so that's, that's a little bit of the current progress you've seen. And I hope you liked what you saw. And stay tuned for the next video and I'll hopefully show you more about the actual food chain like creating food and maybe even eating food. But I'm not too sure of that. So I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Have a good time. Bye.